businesses in the retail business around the country, I might add, by the way. So the first trend, we asked this question last year, and it was just on the horizon, is same day delivery when shopping online. And this is by the different generations. You'll see millennials, 64%, Gen X, 56, and my generation, the boomers, 40%. But you're going to see more and more discussion about same day delivery. Uh, you know, my daughter, my 20 year old daughter, I pay the rent in J. Crew, okay? So, um, and, and, uh, but she goes into J. Crew and is looking for a pair of slacks. They don't have it in, that, in supply in that store. They didn't let her out of the store. They said, well, give us your size and everything else. She's been a frequent client there. Walked out of there within 24 hours. She had three pairs of slack from the J. Crew supply chain sitting in our house. She picked one of them and sent the other two back. So that's a very, that's going to be more and more. It's, it, so the point is, it's not bricks and mortar versus e-commerce, which is like the press likes to talk about, right? You know, bricks and mortar versus e-commerce. That's not the case. It's the battle of the supply chains. Okay, and that's why I was talking about industrial oil there. It all correlates together. The omni, you'll hear omni-channel is another word, the omni-channel approach. So for those of you who are dealing with retail clients, you had better be aware of their distribution network and their system in and around. There's also opportunities with regard to that also.